Today, we're going to talk about another one of the shoulder's rotator cuff muscles, the infraspinatus. This muscle allows us to engage in lateral rotation at our shoulder joint. The infraspinatus sits inferior to the supraspinatus, below the spine of the scapula. It originates in the infraspinous fossa and inserts on the humerus. A common misconception is that if a muscle is knotted, it's too tight. And in my opinion, the infraspinatus muscle is a great example that this is not always true. A muscle that doesn't get much use can get weak and tight. And in turn, it can get knotted as well. Sometimes muscles can get overstretched and knotted. The point I'm trying to get at here is that there are many reasons that a muscle knots. Because we are always moving forward human beings, often the front or anterior of our bodies become tighter and sometimes stronger than the back or the posterior of our bodies. To keep our bodies balanced, we must pay attention to our sequencing and balance our poses. There are many yoga poses, goddess for example, depending on the arm variation you choose, where we cactus the arms and we engage them into lateral rotation. When we engage into a seated twist and hook our elbow on our opposite knee, we are also engaging our shoulders in lateral rotation. As usual, it is important to consider the surrounding muscles that work with and against the infraspinatus as we engage in a variety of yoga poses. And as we discussed last week, while all the rotator cuff muscles stabilize the head of the humerus in the glenoid fossa, it is important to consider them each individually as well as have alternative poses or modifications available for students just in case we need them.